Hey, good everyone, it's Dr. Joe here, and we're going to continue with our city mapping tutorial. Now, in the last tutorial, I drew out the, uh, the coastline, but in this case, I wasn't totally happy with this part of it. As you can see from my sketch, it really doesn't exist on this map. So we're going to use the Insert Node tool. Now, Insert Node literally means adding a corner, a new corner, to one of the shapes, in this case, our water lines on our map. And you can see I just right, sorry, left click on the map and uh, on the section that I want to expand. And I can keep on just nudging out and adding new little corner pieces or filigree to this beautiful little coastline. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with all the little extra details I'm adding in. So I'm just gonna quickly speed this up. We'll go into turbo mode. But you can see that just nudging those lines will give you much a much closer map to your original idea. And this is another reason why you really want to sketch out your map first. This little piece here is not quite right. This little peninsula is not right, quite right. So we're going to use the node edit tool. That's just like the node add tool, except it moves whatever node you click on, or rather the closest node or corner that you click on. As you can see there, I'm just rounding off that little peninsula there. Perfect. Now, don't forget to save your work. It's really important. Um, I'm going to be saving this off in such a way that you can actually download various stages of this tutorial and work on it yourself. Now, in our next tutorial, we're going to add the city walls. That's the next major component of your city that defines it. Talk soon. Radio, that's it. Now, don't forget to check out www.storyweaver.com for some great mapping resources. Just click on the master mapping menu and also check out some of the cool games that we publish as well. Keep mapping, keep learning and keep sharing your wonderful creations.